Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to load style presets. So I have given away a free style in March, and this is the style. The easiest way to load a style is to just drag it onto your workspace. And you can come up to Window, Styles, and if you come over here, you'll see that the style has been loaded. I loaded it earlier, so it's in there twice. If you want to quickly remove a style that you accidentally loaded twice, you can just press Alt, and it brings up a little scissors, click it, and it disappears. Another way that you can load a style is you can come over to this little box here, and you can come down to Load Styles, and then you can browse to your style and click Load. So now again, I have it in there twice, so I'm going to press Alt and Delete. So then when you're ready to use your style, you can bring up a picture, and you can just click on your Type tool, and you can type in anything you want. I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm actually going to change this because I think it looks better with a little bit of a wider font. So I'm going to come over to Freshman, and I'm going to come over to my characters, change this to zero, and I'm going to just resize this, move this out of the way, and I want it to be all caps, so I'm going to click right here, again resize, press enter, then I'm going to come over to my style, it has applied my style, if I want to make changes to it, I can just come over to my layers, and if you don't have your layers up, you can come to file, and then click on layers and it'll come up and then you can just double click on this little effects and you can make changes to it gradient click on that and you can change it to black or you could change it to red and then click OK OK and you can make any changes on any of these effects in here drop shadow, inner shadow inner glow, gradient overlay. You cannot change the gradient overlay in elements, so you may have to come up with some other creative way to change the color in elements, but you can't change it in elements the way that you can in Photoshop. And the other thing that you can do if you don't want to mess with the layers, you can use this file that I've included and you can just drag that onto the picture and then change the words or change it however you want just change it from dragging the, the actual layer on. So that's another way you can do it. So enjoy. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.